Squish your glue in there. And there. Bottom panel in. Some tight, and I'm just going to blow some nails, some one inch brads into it. So that they go through the tongues and into the side piece. Looks like a good place for it to dry to me. 13 more to go. Alright, I don't have my battery charged yet, but here it is. I still gotta put fronts on it all. And handles. But I've got lots and lots of lots of drawers. wide as I can get out of a board.
if anybody is wondering. Yes, I like my table saw turned around like I mentioned in one of the videos that I was going to try. So, breaking a habit actually made my shop a little bit nicer to work in. So let's get this last one cut. Think help center it. This will probably be easier with all the upper drawers taken out. So let me get that done. So I've got my front pretty much where I wanted to, and what I've done is I've laid my card scraper and flushed it to the bottom of the next drawer. mark the center of the drawers. Card scraper is a spacer. Looks good. Well, that's two. Well, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Got all my drawer fronts on. They're not perfect, but they're functional. I got a, a few gaps here, and, but for the most part, you know, they're all working okay. bit of touch here and there but we'll have to get it tuned up with the hand plane not bad for pine keep the dust out of everything and I got a little misalignment and 
couple of little spots. I've got to put handles on it yet. That'll be next. But I'm pretty happy with the with the way it came out. Well, the old Craftsman router doesn't hold its position as good as it used to. I don't have a table for the Bosch, so... But we've got a finger groove in there. Should make a handle. Get the saw plugged in here and we'll cut them down to size. And we'll give some extra style points. Well, before we put the handles on, it definitely won't hurt. Give it a quick sanding. Well, here we go. We've got handles. And move back a little bit. And you can see I just put a little, little finger pull in it. Oh, not too bad. A little bit more light sanding. We'll put some finish on it. Well, I think that's going to do it. And I'm just going to throw some boiled linseed oil on it. Now I keep hearing that the schedule for boiled linseed oil is 
once a day for a week, once a week for a month, once a month for a year, and every year after that. Well, I don't think I'm gonna quite do that, but I think I'm gonna try to get quite a few coats on it. Every once in a while I just take a rag soaked with linseed oil and give it a wipe off. We'll see what that does. All right, like all great plans of mice and men, my finishing routine went awry. I put a coat on and then two days later I put another coat of blow on and now it's about a week later and life got in the way and I got busy. So what I have here is that was about that full of paste wax and blow mix and I filled it up with a little bit more boiled linseed oil and put some beeswax in it so it's just soft wax of some sort or another and I think I'm just going to finish off with with that on it. A little cool today looks like we're going to get all four seasons this week according to the weather network so we'll just get a soft wax on here and I guess we're going to call it done. So this is the drawer that has the, the brace across it, so it's the shallowest one. So I figured what I'd do with this is put marking and measuring things. And uh, one of the things that are going to go in there is uh, the original version of SketchUp. see on there but and I've got stuff put away in all different kinds of spots but you will find them and this will be basically marking and measuring stuff Stuff that I really have to search around and, and find because I really don't know what I have. Well, we'll get her in there. I picked these up at a stationery store. And I'm thinking they were cheap, 20 of them for five bucks. You can see they have a little spot in there that you can write on and it pops in and out. So if I take the ring off And it's got a little label that I can write on with a plastic cover and I think that would be a, a nice little drawer marker for my toolbox. So what I'm thinking is, if I come right over here to the toolbox and I'll get you zoomed out a bit something like that. Well, I'm just trying an experiment here. I got a little piece of leftover spruce in my box joint jig. Let's see what we can do here.
believe that'll work. That one's a bit tight for there, but I think that'll stop my screwdrivers from bouncing around a bit. I think that works out just right. Straits, Robertsons, Phillips, Torx heads, a few miscellaneous things down at the end, and still lots of room at the back for expansion. So, not too bad. A few leftover scraps. Make something useful out of them. The same setup seems to work okay for the wrenches too. 3 8 box joint. That's all my wrenches all nice. Except for a couple of the larger ones, one inch and bigger, won't set up on their edge because they're too tall that way. That sets all the wrenches up nicely. So yeah, cool. I'm very happy with that. Alright, thanks for dropping by. We're getting organized.